Greetings, friends. I'm Dr. Dwayne McKee, president of Adventist World Radio. Thrilling, exciting things are happening right here. I'm sitting next to the South China Sea. This is Mindoro. This is where it's happening. It's been happening for five years. Rebels and their families have given their lives to Jesus. The war is ending after 50 years, 40,000 people dead. Go with me to a swimming pool. This has never happened before, but there are former rebels with their families being baptized. Our lives are being changed. What an exciting time to be alive. Greetings, my friends. This is Dr. Dwayne McKee from Adventist World Radio. It is so exciting to be here. We're right here with the baptism. This is Cal Martin, who is the general uh, of the former rebels, but actually they uh, have changed their lives. They left the life behind of 18 years for them. But the, actually, what happened is 50 years ago, Adventist World Radio began, and 50 years ago, communists invaded this beautiful island of Mindoro and took over the mountains. The last 18 years, this couple has led the rebellion, and now Jesus has touched their heart, and things have changed. Pastor July, you have worked so hard in the mountains here with Thanks the rebels. Lord. What I am so excited to tell you that the chief of police here told us, he said, for all these years, they have tried to do all kinds of things. They tried to even bribe the rebels. They, they gave them money, they gave them land. They did all kinds of things to help, to, to beg them to stop the, this war and to stop shooting at them. And 40,000 people had, had died, and, but it didn't help. Nothing they did, nothing they could do. The police said, the military said, nothing they could do could stop the war until Adventist World Radio Pastor Lai started yeah. broadcasting up in the mountains. They were the question of the day. They started responding and lives were changed when they heard the good news that Jesus is coming again. When they Amen. heard about God's grace that they can be forgiven and changed. And so all these rebels, all these rebels, hundred, how, how many all together, Pastor? have been baptized. For them, I guess around 500 for, uh, for their group only. This yeah, yeah. With their families and everybody yes, else, how many? Yes, more than around 15,000 15, since we started. Now. Since, since we, we started. started. 15,000 have been baptized. The war is coming to an end. Praise God, what, what bullets couldn't do, what machine guns couldn't do, what these gunships couldn't do. God has done by His grace, by broadcasting the good news that Jesus is coming again, the forgiveness of God, and God has forgiven these young people. They, 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 it's amazing how God has worked through their lives, and they have worked so hard and prayed and prayed and prayed, and God is using them now to do a different ministry. We're working in a very, very wonderful way, reaching out to the people in the villages to help them become self-productive, knowing they are forgiven. We are building churches for them. The land has been given by the government. And now the, we, as we, we help them learn to be productive citizens through different programs that we'll talk about in a different setting, it, it is thrilling how they learn to be farmers and learn to be businessmen. And, and we are so excited. I like your hat. That's a beautiful hat. Thank you for being a part of Adventist World Radio. Thank you. This is, I, I can never thank my friend who works for AWR, <laughs> Robert July, enough, who has worked so hard. This has been his dream, and he'll continue on his way here to finish the work because there are lots of more people on this island who are Amen. not rebels, but who need to know about Jesus. And by God's grace, they'll learn the good news too, that Jesus is coming again. And now, as we focus on a different part of the island, there are some other rebels in Mindanao. Yes. They are they are actually very difficult rebels. They capture, capture people, they hold them for ransom and do all kinds of bad things. But by God's grace, through Adventist Wood Radio, their lives will be changed too, Robert. Thank Amen. you for your vision and thank you for working for Adventist Wood Radio. Thank you. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, what a joy it is to be here together at this wonderful baptism. And the people are singing so wonderfully. This is the live music as more and more are being baptized and giving their hearts to Jesus. Military people, former rebels, people who have given their hearts. It's, it's absolutely incredible and all are working together because of God's grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.